All right, there's a lot going on in uh, this worksheet number five about the area of regular polygons. And uh, I guess the first thing is just terminology, getting used to the terms. Any regular polygon can be inset inside of a, of a circle. And because of that, one of the new terms is a radius of a regular polygon. So the line uh, from a vertex to the center is known as the radius. So this is a radius this is a radius. The next thing that we have is an apothem, a kind of a weird uh, term. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. That's how we say it on in the West Coast, or maybe it's just because I'm Canadian. But uh, the apothem is the perpendicular line from the center to the side. Center to the side. Apothem. Now, this forms a, a triangle inside of the regular polygon that becomes pretty important in finding information about it. And the aspect is, is that these are just not any old trivial triangles. These are, all three of them are special right triangles. This one is a 30-60-90 triangle and the reason for that is the central angle is 120 in this guy. Now a central angle 360 divided by 3 gives me a central angle of 120. When you cut that in half with the apothem you get a 60 degree angle 30, 60, 90. And so the radius and the apothem in this guy are the hypotenuse and the short leg and so we realize that we get uh, the, the radius is double the apothem. In the square when you cut it uh, by a radius and an apothem. This is a 45-45 right triangle. And because of that, the apothem will be equal to half of the side, half of the side of the square. And the radius here will be a root two times bigger than the apothem. Because in a 45-45, these will always be equal. And the hypotenuse is root two times bigger. Finally, in the hexagon, we get a relationship where uh, the central angle happens to be 60 because 3 t 360 divided by 6 is 60 degrees. But when we drop the apothem there, we form a triangle that has a 30 degree angle. And so the radius is our, our, our um, hypotenuse, this is our short leg, and our long leg is the apothem. Now because of that, it creates a number of different kinds of questions for us to work with. And the key always comes back to these special right triangles. So let me just try three of these to give you a sense of them. We'll do the area questions. There are a number of questions about radiuses and apothems, but that's just special right triangle stuff. Let's just say uh, they give us um, a side of an equilateral is uh, 12 root 3 centimeters. What's the area? Um, oh, you know what? Let me, let me speak briefly about the area formula before I get to a specific example. The area formula of these is one half the apothem times the perimeter. The idea behind that is that when you have a regular polygon, let's say the one we're about to do, you actually have three identical, in this case, three identical triangles. And you would have one that would be one half um, side one times the height, if this is side one. You'd have another one that would be one half side its height, so side two. One half side three times the height. But a couple things happen in here. The heights of all of these triangles is an apothem. So they would all be an apothem. And then we notice that they all are one half of a side times the apothem and so on. This can be simplified as one half the apothem times side one plus side two plus side three, which is the perimeter. And so this becomes a simpler way to find the area of all of the triangles in the shape. And that's true for a hexagon, an octagon, a dodecagon, whatever. Uh, this little formula works out nicely. So let's try it out. Um, if this is 12 root 3, the entire length, this is 6 root 3. And remember, I am in a special right triangle. 
where the long side, uh, the, the 30 and the 60 here, I would divide by root 3 to obtain this, which is 6. And now I'm ready to start the calculation. The area is 1 half the apothem, 6, times the perimeter. Now, one side is 12 root 3. So if you do that three times, you get 36 root 3. 12 root 3 plus 12 root 3 plus 12 root 3. And then it's the multiplication of these values to obtain the answer. Uh, let me grab my calculator here. So we would have um, a, a value of 108 root 3 centimeters squared here. Apothem times the perimeter of the shape and times one half. Let's do it here uh, for uh, another example. Let's say our apothem is three centimeters. Now this actually is an easy question because the apothem, if it's three, this is three as well because those are equal sides of a 45-45, of a which makes this three. So this is just six times six for 36. Um, but we can use our our other formula, which is one half the apothem times the perimeter. The apothem is three. The perimeter would be six times four for 24. And if you multiply that together, you get 12 times three for 36 as well. One more problem. Let's do this one. Let's uh, let's say the radius is eight centimeters. So again, if the radius is eight centimeters in this particular case, you would do half of that for four and then the apothem would be 4 root 3. So therefore, our formula would be 1 half the apothem, which is 4 root 3, times the perimeter. Now the perimeter would be uh, the 8 there, because we got the 4. The 8 times 6, that's 48. So we would multiply 48 times 4 root 3, divide it by 2, and we get 96 root 3 centimeters. These are tricky, but you have to just work them, uh, work these three special triangles, and you obtain uh, a pretty good chance at them.